No more draw Castle United, please. We need these three points. Bonjour everyone, welcome to the Burnley preview and oh well we'd start with saying it's a must win, it's a six pointer and everything but it's, uh, it's probably more than that isn't it really? I mean as the title suggests it is pretty much relegation isn't it if we don't win the day, not the day, tomorrow, if we don't win this weekend then it is probably game up and then I want to be positive, I want to say that we're going to stay up until it's mathematically possible that we're down, that we can't and Eddie Howe came out the day fighting. He was asked, can Newcastle be the first of a team to not win after 14 games and stay up? And he said, it'll be hard, but we're more than capable of doing it. He said, why not be the first team in history to do it? Why not change history? Great words, inspiring words, motivational, just what you want to hear. But he also said, I'm realistic. So it, he knows as well. Everyone, everyone knows pretty much. I mean, never say never. And like I said, until it's mathematically impossible, then who knows? But let's just go into Saturday and win Saturday. Get that monkey off our back. Get that first three points. We would have got it the other night if it wasn't for fucking Kieran Clark. But if you go 15 games without a win, with the fixtures we've got coming up over Christmas, it's very unlikely that you'll, you'll be about 10 points adrift easy, if not more. We're already, what, six or seven points adrift. It's absolutely fatal that we win this game. I mean, Burnley, always a tough, tricky opponent, hard to beat. Sean Dyche, absolute mental bastard. Old school football, brutal, rough. Gets the job done, gets points on the board. But we did well against them last season, beat them twice, throw them away, St. Maximin on fire, scored a couple, assist a couple, so we could really do that this weekend. How we said that there's a few bumps and bruises for the lads after the other night, so really hoping that that's not the case and it isn't one of the big guns like Wilson or St. Maximin, as we're going to need them on smoke if we're to get a three point win this weekend for the first time this season. Lascelles looks like he's going to be coming back in and captain on the side. Eddie Howe bigging him up, saying he's got the leadership qualities, he's fast, he's athletic, he's what we need at the back. And uh, I think that's, I think we're found we're back four against Norwich through suspensions and through Clark's red card. Manquillo right back, Sean Fernandez centre back, Lewis left back. That's our best back four. That should be our back four. The Sells is probably going to come in for Shaw. Well, Howe's bigging up Fernandez again, so who knows who's going to partner the Sells. Let's hope Richie doesn't come back in because he's available as well after his suspension from Arsenal so I hope he doesn't come back in because I thought Lewis did a decent job you will be tested a lot more mind against Maxwell Corney who's an absolute baller their version of St Maxman he's a he's a quality player so it's going to be a tough day at the office wherever he's coming up against Daishi's going to come to town the Daish master and he's probably he'll probably be going for a draw to be fair he'll take a draw because if Newcastle win we can go above them we can, we can get off rock bottom if we win just like we could have against Norwich if we can get off that bottom place if we win Daishi will be thinking, just avoid defeat. Even though he might also be thinking, he's haven't won a game, let's let's smash them. Do you know what I mean? It's it's They've got Tarkowski back, who was obviously linked with the January move to Newcastle. So he'll be playing out his skin, eh? trying to impress Stavely and Knight in the crowd. And Westwood's back for them, but I don't know, Burnley, man, just like Norwich, we've got to be beating these teams at home. This is a must-win game. Nothing nothing but a win is good enough, because, yes, it, it, it's still possible that we could stay up, but... If we don't win these, and the results again, people in and around while winning, it, it's not going to be pleasant, I guess. It's not going to be, it's far from easy. But as I said, draw class United, all we do is draw or lose. Burnley also love a draw as well. We drew with them 0-0 in the Carabao Cup when they went on penalties at the start of the season. They drew during the week, just like us, 0-0 against Wolves. I think Wolves probably should have won that one, but they're unbeaten in the last five, Burnley. Although only one of those was a win, so... Draw Castle versus Draw Lee. <laughs> it's going to be a draw, isn't it? Let's be honest. It's going to be a draw. We can't win. They can't win. Draw. Get your money on it. Mortgage. Probably won't now. 2 1, hopefully. Newcastle. Burnley haven't won away this season either, although they have played against some tough teams in that run. Uh, Everton, Liverpool, Man City. They lost that, and then they drew at Leicester, Southampton, and Wolves. So, mixed, mixed bag, really. You wouldn't expect them to beat. Liverpool Man City away, surely. Macam Phil Bards is out of this one, so that's good news. He always tries to rough up us, Dunny, and try to wind the fans up, so I'm glad that horrible scumbag's not going to be there at St. James on Saturday. <laughs> Eddie Howe also bigged up the legs of Jewel on in the press conference and things like that, but uh, I'll leave that at Keg because he normally goes through the press conference stuff in his predicted lineup stream later on tonight. 
Burnley haven't won at St. James' Park since 1976. There you go. Draw it is then. The winless in the last eight away matches at St. James' Park in the league. Uh, drew four, lost four. Burnley didn't like the old traditional three o'clock kickoff on a Saturday either. They've uh, won just two of the last 17 Premier League matches that's been played on a Saturday at 3pm. Newcastle are the fourth team in history to not win 14 of their opening Premier League games. The other three went down. Sheffield United, QPR, Swindon. So, history makers in the making, hopefully, for a change, for a positive change. Ooh, I don't like this stat. I'm leaving it on a negative one. Burnley loves a game against Eddie Howe. He's won six out of eight meetings against Eddie Howe. Oh, winning each of the last four in a row by an aggregate score of 11 to 1. Oh. Oh, no. That's not good. Sorry, that was the last stat. <laughs> Aye, so Keg will be back later with his lineup prediction. I was going to jump into mine there, but he can do that later and probably take a quick look at what Pau said in the press conference today. It's going to be a close game. It's going to be a scrappy game. The score prediction for me is 2 2, if I'm being honest. 2 2 or 1 1. It's going to be a draw. Everything points to a draw. We can't win for shit. So I'd hope we can get a 2 1. I mean, it really doesn't matter if we lose. If we could lose 5 0, I'd take meh. Because. If we draw, it's meh. Then it's win, it's like, yes, we're on. Hopefully there's something to be in for. Because if we don't win, a draw is just as shit as a defeat for me. It really is. Does, it, it, a draw does nothing for us. We have to win this game. We have to win this game. Leicester next week and then Man City and Man U. We'll have Christmas before Liverpool away. Yeah. Hey, we need to win this game. We, we needed to win Norwich. We needed to win Brentford, if we're being honest. Um, so praying for this one. Really, really praying that we can get Three points, man. It's huge. It's massive. Let us know how you are feeling heading into the game. Absolutely shitting yourselves, I'd imagine. Drop your score predictions below. What should Howe do with the team as well? Will he bring in Lascelles, Richie? Who should he drop? Wilson. Will Wilson keep the armband? No. If Lascelles comes in, which he probably will, but I would. I would have kept Fernandes and Shaw as centre-backs and I would have kept Wilson as captain. Right then. Cheers for watching. Subscribe to my channel TV and enjoy yourself.